Hey, this is Roger. I'm on location in Myers Park. Just the lush canopy of trees, majestic old homes. It all speaks of the beginnings of Charlotte well over a hundred years ago. Kind of even hard to see that house. It was a beautiful brick beauty. But the history of Charlotte, again, thanks to Dr. Tom Hanchett, noted historian here in Charlotte who spells it out in the Historic Landmarks website article about Myers Park beginnings. But you know, this was where all the heavy hitters lived, worked, and played. This is the first suburb of Charlotte, Myers Park. And I'll show you how it got that name. But even now, lots of money being spent on renovations of classic old structures. Uh, a lot of old money here, and a lot of new money too. People who have come to town and want to live close to uptown, Dilworth and all things Charlotte. But here's just a classic example of one of the reasons Myers Park is just so popular. Look at just the lush growth, the thick trees. I mean, you go back about to, you know, 100 years ago, there was a huge tree moving uh, where they brought in 10 to 16 inch oak trees from the country and they basically replanted them here. And that's why you see some of these huge oaks and this large canopy of trees. Look at that one right there. So now we're coming up on the Duke Mansion. I love the fact that Homeland, when they began filming here at the, at the first, for the first three seasons, they used the Duke Mansion for the vice president's home. Uh, it's grand, bed and breakfast now, but it goes back to power magnet Duke, uh, who uh, was one of the early adopters to this new suburb. How do they convince people to move out of the first, second, third, and fourth wards to this? Well, they built a trolley line. They brought in John Nolan, a recent Harvard grad who designed a trolley line to run down the uh, medians of these 110 foot wide streets. A lot of varying widths of streets here, but the, Mr. Duke lived here. Well, let's just kind of step back and see how Myers Park got its name. You know the name Colonel Myers. His son, John Springs Myers, uh, better known as Jack Myers, the son of Colonel Myers, lived here. This was his front yard. This is actually called J.S. Myers Park. Myers Park. This was his front yard that uh, when he was converting farmland from the cotton plantation to uh, this suburb, you can hear that sound too. He planted a lot of flowers, plants, shrubs in his front yard that began to be known as Myers Park. Wow. Now, the man that married Jack Myers' son was George Stevens, a businessman. He came to town and married Jack Myers' daughter, Sophie, and began to subdivide and uh, develop what is now known as Myers Park, convincing the wealthy people from 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th wards to move to this suburb, which they did, textile people. Does the name Cannon mean anything? Does the name Haynes mean anything? the banking people. Again, George Stevens was involved in some of the first banking. Textile, banking, and then the utility people. You have Mr. Duke to thank for that. This is where all the power people lived, played, and worked, guys. Myers Park. It's still a great area, largely due to the great planning of John Nolan. And uh, when the historic landmarks people realized that they were losing some of it, they really got back in gear in the 70s and, and basically saved a lot of which could, could have gone into redevelopment. That's pretty marvelous. Again, look at the large trees that are here, the circumference of them, a lot of good history. Thanks to Dr. Tom Hanchett for this great article and for his ongoing legacy of, of, of putting down the history of a great city that influenced really much of the South and southeast and it's planning Charlotte Myers Park. You want to buy or sell a house in Myers Park? I'm your guy. 704-345-3400. I stand ready to serve you. Love the history of it. I love the redevelopment and all that's going on down here. Call me. I'm your guy.